Good morning, Commissioners. Again, for the record, Charles Johnson. And I do want to apologize in part to uh, Commissioner Fritz for my previous interruptions. Uh, I would, it's a hotly contested issue whether governments and corporations should have the same rights as individuals. Um, I think generally she and I are on the same page, but she was elected to uh, protect the city government's interest, and uh, there will be contentious matters, so I apologize uh, to her for my effort. Um, as for the entire city council, the city attorney's office will deal with that when the other agenda item comes in. The reason I came up here, though, is because uh, we're missing something that has happened, and it's city government is a bit of an octopus with many more tentacles than that. In the past few months, um, uh, the people of Portland have tried to bully the developers through the volunteers on the Tree Commission. So the pro-developer people on the Tree Commission resigned, four of them. Um, that relates to this agenda item because we're talking about recruiting public members to assist ourselves, this council and the city in developing sensible uh, development policies, planning and sustainability. So I hope that uh, regardless of the new designation of COCO COAB members as public officials, I hope that uh, the people that have just been appointed will not feel that their free speech is constrained when they talk about the important issue of how we can protect the tree canopy and make sure that our tree commission is full of people who realize that for the sake of quality of life, even though density may be important, we cannot go around slaughtering trees to line the pockets of developers. Thank you.